The gentleman from Georgia is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. You know, last year the American taxpayer got on the hook for a whole series of bailouts to huge corporations and prop-ups for quasi-governmental organizations and a hundred billions in stimulus programs. Reminds me of a layer cake, seven layer cake. When I was uh, growing up in Athens, Georgia, went to Alps Road Elementary School and on the way home every day when I'd walk home, I'd pass the Beechwood Bakery. And sometimes they'd put a big layered cake in the front window. And the layer cake was so cool because it would have chocolate and then a layer of vanilla and a layer of almond cake. And it was all this delicious stuff. But it was, it was interesting because one was stacked on top of the other. And that's what we're seeing in the Pelosi deficit Congress. Last year, $29 billion for Bear Stearns bailout in March, $168 billion in May for a bailout, $200 billion in July for Fannie Mae, $700 billion in October, $85 billion for AIG in September, and then this year, $790 billion for a stimulus package. Well, you would think that some of that would be coordinated with last year's appropriation bill, which we're about to pass. But instead, it's all layered just like that cake. If you look at this bill, there's a 13 percent increase for agriculture spending, 11 percent for congressional spending, 13 percent for transportation, and 11 percent for commerce, state, and justice. Now that sounds okay. It's a little bit out of whack with what the American family's going through, and so that's bad. But then when you realize that this is not coordinated with the stimulus bill of $790 billion, which we just passed, and if you look at that, then agriculture is actually up 45 percent. Commerce State Justice is up 41 percent. Labor, 91 percent. Transportation, 139 percent. Overall, these accounts and these seven appropriation bills have gone up 80 percent when combined with the stimulus package. And the stimulus package in these areas isn't something that's going to be hardcore job creation. There's not enough public works to it. But 30 seconds. Additional 30 seconds. Gentlemen's recognized. So here we are at a time when American families are worried about being laid off. They've seen their retirements account shrunk to nothing. Many have been laid off. Many have had foreclosures. And it's time for Congress to tighten its belt. And yet, with the passage of this bill and last week's bill, we're looking at an 80 percent increase in these particular areas of the budget. I believe the proper vote today is to vote no, send this back to committee, let actually Republican members look at the bill, try to redraft something that's better, and let's work together for a better piece of legislation. Yes, I yield back.